This is a tutorial to show you how to reset the colour of a brush stroke in Expression Design 3. If you've got a brush stroke that's made of maybe multiple colours, as soon as you apply a stroke to that brush, basically it will end up with that colour of the stroke. So you might have, say, a multicoloured brush stroke, but it will end up, say, green if you select a green stroke colour. So right, now, best way to approach this, unfortunately I say in earlier versions you could actually do it easier. If you've actually selected a brush, so you apply a brush, so I'm just going to select some brushes. These are from Graphic Extras, these brushes are multiple coloured brushes. So Now, click that one. So if you apply, set the width. So you can see there, you've actually got, it's black here, so it ends up black. It doesn't end up the colours that it should be. Right, well the way to actually get that is to deselect all the brushes. You don't want to actually select anything. If you select something and then try and edit the brush stroke, you'll end up exactly the same position. So you, you will not end up, you will end up with the green or red or whatever stroke. So what you do want to do is actually deselect everything. Now go to the brush palette here, strokes, so properties, and go to them to the bottom. And you want to edit stroke. So click on that and there you'll see the actual what the brush should look like in its default state. Now, a quick way of doing this is from the stroke definition, you want to do a quick save, so I'm just going to just basically drag it over to the same size, So, it, and then I can say close, and it will come up with a dialog saying, do I want to overwrite this, I, I want to give a save stroke, yes, blah, 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 default width, so I'm set to change that, and set go back to the same, you know, you might want to rename it to another name, so it's up to you, but click OK and it will say overwrite the existing stroke with the same name. Click yes at this point. Now if you go to the paintbrush and apply a paintbrush, you've got a paintbrush as it should be, the actual brush strip. Now that's the easiest way to quickly do that. Uh, it's not the ideal way of doing it and it would be nice if there was a reset feature but there isn't. So uh, it's um, that's a quick and easy way of getting the brushes. Okay, I hope you found this uh, tutorial of interest, and uh, come back for future tutorials. Thank you much.